Kristen, since you got on here last, I'll start with you. Like, how did you feel about that? Like, what was going on um, at the end of the year when you guys actually got that trophy hoisted it up? Um, I was really excited about that last year. Um, I played on the varsity team in seventh grade that actually had um, won. Well, I didn't play, but I was there. They took me to the state tournament, and they actually ended up winning. And then for us to kind of go and win last year, that was very exciting, and I'm glad I got to experience that. And um, throughout the season, I feel like just us building up, you know, we had some ups and downs, but the games eventually, you know, made us stronger as a team, and I feel like we really brought all that to the state tournament with us and um, put it to peace. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And um, Paige, same thing. Like, how, how did you feel about last year where you guys eventually yeah, got to? It was exciting. I mean, we put in a lot of hard work to get there. And just coming out with the win and that was pretty good, like, towards the team. It made us look good, too. But I, it was, like, a moment that I won't forget. That's a good memory in high school. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Megan, how'd you feel? I remember, like, Kristen said about the, the whenever they first won, I wasn't on the team, but I would see pictures and hear about them winning a tournament, and I was like, oh, that'd be so cool to do one day. And then, like, we finally did it, and it was just like, wow, we made it, like, to the top, yeah. you know. It was cool. Yeah, for sure, right? That's exciting. And then Coach, like, what was it like to see those girls do that and accomplish something great like that? Well, it's like they said, we had a up and down year. It's more of a kind of like a roller coaster. And then for us to all pull together and start playing stronger, stronger at the end of the year and just walk through and in succession, we knocked off the number four, uh, the number one team, the number two team, and then the number three team to win it all. Wow. Uh, they brought us in as a four seed somehow. I don't know how they pulled wow. out. Considering <laughs> we were ranked number one. But when I held a trophy up, and that lasted how long, girls? About 10 seconds okay. before y'all ran out and grabbed it away from me. So to see them enjoy it that much and get so much out of it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I know, I know they were anxious to get that thing, <laughs> eager to get that thing from me. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, well, and it's then, all about them. I mean, it's they put the work in, they they put all the hours in, and it's just to see them put that much effort in and come away with it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, and um, and then Kristen, back to you. Um, you know, you were a big part of that offensively, so I hear you was offensive MVP and had a great run there in the tournament and uh, playoffs. So, you know, what was working for you there offensively at the, especially at the end of the year? Um. Well, I'm not really the the hitter that goes up and knocks all the home runs. I usually my I set my goal to get a base hit because I know that you know Paige and um, all them can hit me in. Um, so that's usually my goal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. And then Paige, so she just you know said that you were a big part in getting those runs in and stuff like that. And I see you did have a lot of um, you know, extra base hits and stuff. So you know, what do you think your role was as far as getting you guys there over the hump last year? Uh, my role, I think, I mean, I also, like, when I get up to bat, I try not to think about, like, what pitches, like, I don't think about striking out because if you think about, oh, I don't want to strike out, then <laughs> most likely I'm going to strike out if I think about it too much. My main focus is just getting a base hit and driving in runs. Really, is about it. Yeah, yeah. And Megan, I hear you do a little bit of everything. So utility player and a great athlete. So, you know, what did what did you do last year that you saw work for you to try to help these uh, help the rest of your team um, get it done? So I um played outfield a lot, and when I did, I tried like every time to make sure the ball wouldn't go past me, so like the runners wouldn't advance. So I try to help keep it in and just fair to support. Yeah, absolutely. It's important. And uh, coach, so, you know, what did you see? How did you think everything came together? Like, what did you see change um, since you had an up and down year? Like, what did they do to get that stretch, get those consecutive wins off at the end of the year? We, uh, we sat down one day and I just 
before we went out to practice, I just called everybody together and we sat down to dug out. And we basically just had a heart to heart. I asked him, I said, ladies, I said, you know, what's going on? I said, we'll come out and we play great. And then we'll come out and look like it's the first game of the season. Uh, you know, what do y'all feel like we need to do? Is it something I need to do, something y'all need to do? And we just sat down and had that heart to heart. And after that, I mean, it just, all the pieces fell in place and we just started playing great softball. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, you know, now just fast forward into this year, like, you know, what was the excitement level? Um, you know, let's go back, go back in order. So, Chris, like, what was the excitement level coming into this, this year, trying to repeat maybe or, you know, in your season, season, uh, senior year off the good way? Oh, uh, yeah, I was really excited coming into this year because we had a lot of momentum coming from last year. Um, because we had also, like, previously in the fall, had just gotten our um, rings that we ordered and everything. So that had propelled us to be more excited. Um, and then just the starting practicing or whatever, just to get the team back together again and have, you know, build the, um, the bond on top of what we already had. I was very excited to carry it over into this year. Um, so. Yeah. And then, Paige, you know, what was, what was going to be your mind um, coming into your senior year? You're going to college next year, but. So last yeah. year of high school. I was excited to get into the season. Just the fact that we had just won a state championship. I was hoping to repeat this year. So hopefully we'll get we'll be able to get back, but I don't know. I was just trying to make the most of my senior season this year. But Yeah, yeah, of course. Megan, same thing with you. Like how did you feel coming in last year of high school? Yeah, I was excited too. Like this would be the last time I would be playing with all these girls that we've been playing together pretty much since middle school. And like with these two, I've been playing with them like since the very beginning. So I was excited for one more run and another shot at the state championship and like having senior nine and all that fun stuff. Because we couldn't do it last year because we didn't have a senior. So like they looked up to us and this would be our year kind of. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, and then, you know, now that you guys – Know, know what's going on, know about the virus, and know how it's affecting people's lives and stuff like that. Like, you know, what was what was the first thing that went through your head when you heard about, like, okay, we might have a season or we definitely got to wait. And uh, we got to wait it out. Uh, Chris, let's start with you. Um, I was definitely disappointed and in shock because I've never really imagined anything like this before. I'd always thought my senior year would be, you know, the last hurrah, especially because it's, you know, the last sport of, you know, in spring season or whatever. And um, it's just, it was really hard to kind of get a, a grip on, I guess. Um, but I'm trying to stay positive as much as I can. I know I, hopefully we can get back on the field and I know that God's got a plan for whatever's going on. So um, even with all the bad stuff happening, hopefully we'll get back out there soon. Right. right. And then Paige, same thing. Like, what was what was going through your mind at that point when you hear I mean, no, no games? We had this been, been yeah. the season for a while. I mean, to me, it's like upsetting and disappointing, just because I mean we played. I mean, I don't know. It's I mean it's a possibility that we won't even get to play as a team anymore. And like this is my, our last year, so it's upsetting that we couldn't even see them again and play with them again. And I mean, my plan was to make the most of most out of it in the season. But, I mean, I'm just blessed to be able to say that we did get to have a state championship and that we won the state championship. And hopefully we'll be able to get back, but we'll see. So, yeah. Yeah. And then, Megan, how are, how are you feeling about that decision? I saw at first it was, like, hard to adjust, like, not going to school and, like, not having practice every day because, I have so much time on my hands like that and then not seeing everybody and not doing like game not having games when we're supposed to and just everything being into the unknown kind of yeah yeah and then from a coach's perspective coach uh you know we don't get to I guess you're not there at the school right you said throughout the day and stuff so you know Correct. Uh, so I'm that's pretty much there. right Right, so, you know, when you get them, you know, that's pretty much it. Like, just there for the team and coach them up. And so now you can't, yeah. can't really do that. And, you know, how was it hearing about that? Uh, when we had our very last practice, 
Uh, I was told probably 15 minutes into it that they had suspended the season. Oh, wow. And going out there and having to finish that practice because we didn't know how long it was going to be, but I'm out there and I'm running the practice and having to finish that practice, knowing that I was going to have to tell these girls, especially these seniors that the season had been suspended. It was, a uh, it was breaking my heart. You get to know these players and they get to be like your kids. And it was just, it was really heart wrenching to have to have to go up and tell them that. I mean, they might not know it, but to be able to tell them that and not break down with the tears, I'm trying not to right now. You are. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just like going up to your kid and telling your kid, this is your favorite thing in all the world, but guess what? We can't do it. Right. Um, right. it, it was a very hard thing. And it, you just you just do it and you try to stay positive and you put the spin on it of maybe this will only be for a couple of weeks. You know, hopefully we'll get back and, you know, we'll start smashing through everybody just like we always have. I mean, expectations were so high for us this year and it was just, it was just heart wrenching. Yeah, yeah. Um... And then I know we kind of discussed this just before we got into the interview, but, you know, let's just talk a little bit about what you guys are doing now, um, you know, each player and how you guys are trying to adjust and still trying to work out. Um, so, Kristen, like, what's a typical day for you right now? Well, um, most of my classes are in the morning. So I get up and um, I have my first three classes. And when I get done with that, I either work on my homework or – eat lunch, go do something else. And then I've tried to, I've been trying to um, stay active as well and either do workouts or um, run around my neighborhood or just walk if I'm, you know, not feeling great that day or something, just to keep myself active. Cause if I don't, I know I will not be like ready <laughs> at all. For sure, for sure. Um, Paige? Um, I get up in the morning and I have Spanish at 9.30, so we normally get on Google Meet then. And it normally lasts about 30 minutes, maybe. And then she'll assign us work, so I do that. And then around 11.15, I have math. That normally lasts about like an hour. <laughs> so then after that, I'll eat lunch, and then I have another class at 1.30. I have history. That lasts about 45 minutes. We normally take notes. And then after that, I'll go outside and hit every day, and then I'll I'll run maybe in a mile. That's about it. Yeah, that's a full day. That's what it sounds like, full day. Yeah. <laughs> and then Megan, so how about you? Yeah, so me and Kristen, like, have the same free classes. So whenever they're all done, I do my work and usually get a snack or something and then get ready for the day and, like, yeah, sometimes mainly I'll go outside every afternoon and we have a lake. So me and my sister, we go fishing and like get in a boat and go around the lake and Thanks. play with my dogs and like do whatever work. Then I come in and watch the world news like at 630 <laughs> just to like see what's happening. <laughs> and then like it's important have too. Yeah, I mean have dinner and watch uh, a lot of episodes of Friends. So. Okay. All right. I like that. I like that. Okay. Um, and then coach like What's it like? I know you guys, you're working with uh, some of your travel ball players, right, right now. So um, uh, how's that going? Or? I'm going I'm to go ahead and bite the bullet and admit it here. I'm pretty much retired, so I, <laughs> I sleep in while y'all are doing schoolwork. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, just, I get up, you know, and do my day-to-day -day business and, uh, like they said, keep up what's going on with the COVID and then I head down to the training center and start working with players. What And there's very few, it went from 40, 50 a week and it's down to maybe 10, 12 each week. And it's the ones that, that I'm pretty sure I know that aren't out in the area, the high, you know, the high risk areas. But other than that, you know, my wife and I, we bought bikes and we'll go biking and stuff like that. I've got the, I've got to halfway be able to keep up with these girls when we come back. So I can't look too bad. 
<laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, that sounds good. You guys have a good routine going, and uh, that's awesome. Getting a lot of, you know, mix between leisure and doing work and working out for softball. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, I guess the last thing is before we wrap up, just you know, what are some things that you're hoping for? Um, you know, if you do get to play some games, uh, Chris, I have to start with you. Like, what are you, what are you hoping for this year if you get to play some games? Yeah, um, I'm hoping we get to continue the season um, at least somewhat. And um, I really was looking forward to having a senior night because um, that's, you know, something special to us, especially at our school. Um, and also just I feel like this season I came in for the first, you know, few games. And I feel like just as a team, we were relaxed. I know I was very relaxed. I wasn't, you know, really worried about anything. Um, Coming off the, you know, state tournament last year, I was excited, and I just really want to be able to, you know, play a few more games at least that, you know, I can bring that same mentality and that same energy to the games and that same um, sense of being relaxed um, and just being with my friends that I've played with for so long. I really don't want that. I really want a, another chance at being able to do that before we have to go to college next year. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. And then Paige, um, I know you're going to go play college ball, so, um, and I know you kind of want those same memories too, but, you know, you get to play um, again this year. Uh, how, how are you going to feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping we get back because, I mean, I want to play with my high school team one last time before I go off to college because after high school, then it's travel ball, <laughs> then moving into college, and then, all that starts. So I'm just hoping that we get to play some more and hopefully do our best that we can. That's about it. Yeah, for sure. And Megan? I'm just hoping to come back and have some more time to be able to play with them. Because I'm really scared, like, we won't be back at school at all. And, like, that I didn't expect March 13th to be our last day. And, like, last practice and everything because who knows when I'll see them again like while going different places and yeah I just hope we have like more time to finish out our season and do all the other senior things yeah for sure for sure and then coach and then you know just to cap everything uh, with you um, you know what is what's something that you're saying to all the girls during this time and you know if you guys do get to come back like what are you gonna what are you gonna tell the team uh, the big thing when we when we came back and started our first practice this year, we were we started our practice and the girls come out. They kicked it off with going and doing what they needed to do. There was no telling them what to do, no explaining anything. They just went and did their thing. We come back and practice. It was like we never missed a beat. Uh, it was just like wow. We just okay. We had the weekend off and we're back at it again. So we were, Coach Autry and myself were super excited about what these girls were going to do this year. And if we get to come back, I just feel like it's going to be business as usual, to be honest. I feel like we're going to come back and it's just going to be okay. It's like coming back from spring break and here we go and we're off to the races again. Um, and I'm really hoping for these young ladies' sakes right here that we do get to come back and they do get to complete their senior se uh, season. And if not, I just want to make sure I've already talked to the headmaster, uh, Karen Parker. I've already spoke with her about possibilities of making sure with everything they provided for the school and all the effort they put in that they do get some type of recognition uh, that we can do with the team. Uh, and make sure that they're recognized for all their efforts. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think that's important. I, do. I really do. Um, and you guys were awesome. Like, this was so cool doing this with you guys. Um, I think people are really going to like this.